Damn, if this camera would ever freaking focus. I swear, one of these days, I will buy a new phone. Uh, so I was up here just practicing with my SIG. It's my everyday carry. Highly recommend it for everybody. You know, it's been a while since I've been shooting. Just practicing reloading. You know, just, uh, it's very important to do. Anyway, I wanted to compare a couple carbines. So I got this ammo. It was on sale at Sportsman's Warehouse. I think 20 bucks. I mean, their prices are a little bit high, but it wasn't bad. I did, uh... A review in this ammo before it's that synthetic it has a uh kind of like a synthetic coat on it actually so it actually shoots really good i mean i was impressed with the grouping and the accuracy of it this is their 130 grain ammo it's for like carbines uh so i was like well i got a couple carbines this one's actually a pistol it's a cz scorpion this is a good old high point man so i'm just i was gonna do a little just comparison a thousand dollar carbine ish uh versus a hundred dollar one to see uh i can tell you right now i bought this not too long ago and this one i bought i bet you i was like 14 years old i got my mom to buy it it was at a hardware store for 75 bucks are you serious I, dude i can't think of one time that this gun jammed or didn't fire i mean if you needed something to protect you it's accurate too man i forget how long the barrel is it's probably 16 inches uh but, dude, if you needed something to protect yourself, this works. I mean, it's ugly. Trigger sucks. Stock sucks. You can replace the stock, which I'm surprised I never did. It's just so cheap. It has, like, a weird, weird vibration on your cheek cheek weld. Uh, the front, front post, it comes loose, but you can lock tight that. I just never did. I think they do make extended mags. I'm sure they do. I think this one holds 10. I know they have one that sticks down there, but, dude, I'm telling you, this gun has never not fired and or jammed so unfortunately with the insane uh, jungle growth we got going on here uh you know, this is <laughs> it's pretty much the furthest i could get was like 69 feet man so that's the gold standard anyway it just sucks up here in the summer man like it grows i was gonna get a redneck range you couldn't even find it in the woods it was impressive uh so i really need to make a spot where i can plow the vegetation down and set up a nice little area it's just so hilly like behind my house, like you can get equipment back there, you, know, you can't do it. So one of these days, maybe. But so I'll get loaded up and we'll do maybe an accuracy. It's kind of not fair because this is a smaller barrel, but it's this good gun. It does group very well. And then we'll see what this thing does. We'll just load up a couple and maybe we'll do some. I got some cheap ammo here too. Let's just see how they run. So let's get up. Okay, first up, we got the CZ Scorpion. Uh, I'm definitely not shooting the best today. I'm a little shaky, but I'll try. Wasn't too bad. So it's been so long since I shot. I ain't definitely ain't shooting the best today. Okay, this gun literally, uh, I've been sitting in the gun safe for a, a long time, and it literally fell out of the truck. <laughs> I open the door so I'll go top left there bottom bottom left <laughs> I'm pretty sure the front sight's bent oh yeah it doesn't I don't think it holds open after the last one uh, see actually I could hold this much more steady than I could the CZ. I mean, obviously it's a rifle, longer stock, and you know. So let's go check that out. Okay, like literally grouping, about the same. So these were from I was shooting up the road, my, my handgun for far distance earlier. But so I was, CZ shooting low though, man. It was uh, aiming dead center, so they were hitting down here. Uh, so. And then the, that's the high point, man. I mean, it grouped just as good as a thousand dollar one. Like I said, it obviously has a longer barrel. I'd like to see, they do have the Scorpion. I don't think, I don't know if it is Scorpion. I think it is with a 16 inch, it's carbine rifle. So, I mean, it worked. Group's good. I mean, it shoots good. That's pretty good. And then, uh, we got a propane tank behind here. We'll uh, set the. Set it up and just try some of the ammo, do like a mag dump. 
Okay, we're loaded up with some cheap 115 grain uh, blazer ammo. These are really light loads. So, this uh, CZ, it always runs really good. Never had a problem with it either. There's, I just put 10 in there because the high point only holds 10. And let's see how that runs. Okay, ran good. Sight picture, not near as nice as a red dot. I mean, you could put a red dot on this, which would improve it drastically. It's kind of hard to get on target with a, the peep sights there. Uh, but runs good. And like I said, I got 75 bucks. That was a long time ago, but dude, if this is all you can afford, I mean, it slings nine millimeters, man. And <laughs> works good. There it is.